I'm Seth. And I'm Jeff. And this is another review brought to you by Shisha Royalty. Today we're going to be reviewing, this is locally for Arizona people only. There is some Californian here too, but mainly Arizona. Today we're going to be reviewing hookah lounges in Arizona. Which one's the go-to, what one has the best, everything we're going to give you a good, good gist of what everything, their theme and all their stuff is. the first one. Silver Q. Silver Q, one of the biggest shisha lounges here in Arizona. There's three in Arizona. Yeah. Well, and at least in Phoenix area. At least in Phoenix. Knows. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's a good amount. Good. This is pretty good. This is uh, their main focus is a billiards kind of thing because it's it's supposed to be so you can get a pool table and a hookah for like twenty bucks and yeah. it, you pay by the hour. There's specials every day. I can't tell you all the specials off the top of my head. If you if you want to know their specials, I actually just like their Facebook page and they post them all the time. Um, so pretty cute. But yeah, there's three um, locations that we know about. One is gonna be at Thirty Fifth and Union Hills. There is one in. Um, there's United and Bill. And then the last one's like on Cactus, I think. It's on, I think it's on Cactus. It's like 43rd and Cactus. Or, yeah, somewhere out there. Um, all three of them are fairly nice, you know, kind of a lot of music, pool. Uh, but, I mean, hookah, as of hookah wise, they mainly only serve uh, Al Fokker and Starbucks. Yeah, and, and their hookah, their hookah choice is KM. Almost every yeah. hookah lounge does KMs. Yeah. Except for certain ones, but they have KMs. Their hookahs are nice, nice hoses. They bring you tips. Uh, the guys walk around with the coals, you, and if you want new coals, you can go up and ask them. They recently switched to Coconara coals too. They used to use the Diamantes, but now they're back. They're on Coconaras. Someone must have given them the hint that they're better. Yeah. And like I said, a guy will come around with a holder, and then when he sees your coals are getting low, he'll knock them off and put new ones on for you. And they give you tongs and everything so you can manage the heat yourself. It's yeah. pretty good. Pretty good. I like it's pretty it. decent. Um, my only complaint is some of the people that work there are kind of amateur. -ish. Yeah. They um, overpack a lot. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you'll just get it and you'll take a hit and it'll be super harsh. Um, so, I mean, you kind of have to work with it because they get mad if you scrape the shish off the top because they think you're putting drugs in there or something. Yeah, they don't like when you pull the oil <coughs> off. Yeah. Um, and other than that, though, pretty good lounge. Uh, they play decent music. They play anything from hardcore to rap to country yeah. to regular rock. Well, the music is is person selected. Yeah. It's a, and, uh, the one, I don't know if they all have them. But the one on Unin actually has this really cool touchscreen jukebox thing that you can pay to play a whole album. It's pretty cool. Like there's mad music selection on there. I like you said. I've heard from country to Devil Wears Prada and all kinds of stuff in there. There's all kinds of music in there. A lot of good music. Um, like this is a good place to take you know your friends if they're first starting to smoke out hookah. Uh, that way you can still talk to them. You got good music. You can they can possibly play pool, all that sort of thing. Um, Couches and black lights. Yeah. It's, yeah. But you know, you can still see in there. Yeah. Surprising. Um, club hookah. Not one of my favorites. I hate club hookah, to yeah. be honest. I think it's <laughs> stupid. And they're a bunch of, uh, I don't know, they're kind of piggish. Like, if, if you're a girl, you're going to get special treatment. They'll like flirt with you all the time. I know my girlfriend's complained to me about it. Uh, about it like a couple times uh, where, you know, they're hitting on her or whatever and I'm just have to go up there. Uh, but I've, had, the, I've actually had a really bad personal experience with Club Huga. I had a friend tell me, because we were looking for Fumari and Cooking Articles, because this is before we knew about all the stores that carry it here, and uh, we were looking for it, and the guy told me he had it, and we went in there and he didn't have it, and she, my friend was like, oh yeah, he'll hook you up, you know, just go talk to him, and tell him, you know, stuff like that, and I went in with them, and he sold, he didn't even give me a box of Coconaras because I understand they just pour them in a giant box and pull them out. He gave me a bag and put like, I don't even, not even a full box, just like a handful in there and charged me way more than what it was worth. And I didn't like, it was to the point where I was right, I needed to go and I needed it now because we were going to a party. But terrible service. Like he kind of, he was kind of a jerk. Like I was like, I'm buying stuff and like usually when you buy stuff from them, they usually throw in free shit and keep you coming back with whole points. It's marketing for service. Yeah, <laughs> it, terrible. I hate Club Hookah. It's cool. Yeah, I don't go it's there anymore. It's so small. Like, it's super packed. crowded. Um, a lot of people. Uh, it's like really, really loud. They have a DJ there, and the place is literally the size of like a garage. It's tiny. Um, the music's way too loud. You can't really talk to people. It's Just like windy. Each other. Uh, it's like hazy, and yeah, not not a good experience. I wouldn't suggest going there. I mean, unless you really want to go to a club. Yeah. If you're not 21. <laughs> um, <clears throat> next one is going to be Casablanca. Um, same thing with Club Hookah. I like Casablanca a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But uh, same thing. It's a little bit bigger. They have this big ass like projector screen that plays music videos. 
and the DJ, if he's there, he's sometimes there, sometimes not, but the music <laughs> will play really loud and it'll play the music video. It's pretty cool. The service there is pretty good. The guy hooked me up one time. I was trying to, but they lied to me about Fumari. Mm -hmm. They, I said I asked him for Fumari, and the guy was like, "Yeah, totally, we have it." And I told him the flavors I wanted. And I think he just, I said I wanted mint chocolate chill. I think he just gave me what, like he's like, Ace right, like yeah, Ace of Spades, Fantasia. <laughs> That's my exact guess because they're similar in taste, but Fantasia's red. red. Yeah, Fumari's brown. Mm -hmm. Like no, but I didn't know. And uh, but he did, he did kind of, he was nice. They give you a decent price on it. The second time I went in, though, the guy really hooked me up. He uh, gave me, I just got, I was just looking for Fantasia, just some shisha. He gave me like 100 grams of that. And then he threw in uh, like four or five of their house blends, like 100 grams for free. Like I've got like 300, 400 grams for like 10 bucks. Like it was pretty cool. And some coals. They'll, they get, they do the, the wood log coal things. They're pretty good. But yeah. Uh, it's all right, Hookah Bar. Um, they have camps. There's some nicer hookahs. Uh, I don't know if they're still open. I haven't been there in a while. I still open. Yeah. Um, it's on. It's a decent place. It's in Peoria again. It's on Peoria. It's kind of by uh, the. Yeah, I think it's Fifty First in Peoria. Yeah. It's it's like out that. there. Um, it's not a bad place. I mean, especially if it's open, you know. Forty third. Forty third. Pretty decent. Yeah. Um, other than that, I, I I don't really go there. And the next one's gonna be Red Sea. Red Sea is a personal favorite. One of my personal definitely, favorites. Definitely good. Good. Vehicle. First place I found in Arizona that served Fumari. In fact, I think it's the only place that still serves Fumari. They also serve Ramon. Um, <clears throat> they're uh, like, it's kind of nice. It's really chill. Um, they have like little uh, pads, I guess, to sit down on the ground. You know, kind of sit cross-legged or whatever. You know, you can fit a decent amount of people. It's not a super large place. It's a small menu, but it's. <laughs> It's, it just fits yeah. the, for the theme. It's really chill. They do on Fridays have live DJs, so if you want to go like for a more club scene, they do both. Yeah. So yeah, um, service is great. It uh, it shut down for a little bit. It was owned by some guy, don't know, and then apparently got bought out by uh, some college kid uh, who's really nice. You know, hook you up with a. Uh, I know they sell from Mario there. It's like uh, nine or ten dollars for like a hundred grams or something like that. So it's about re it's a reasonable price. Uh, but if they sell it, they give it to you in little uh like containers rather than you know a bag or whatever so it's not as fresh um or juicy but other than that it's a, it's a decent lounge to go to other than the fact that they last time i was there they were using uh the what are those called the screens with oh quick yeah lights. with quick oh my god not, not a fan of that I'm, no we don't like quick lights That's but it's okay you know if you want fumari go ahead and try it out there um if you're not the really coolest thing though is that there's a pizza place right behind it called gus's mm. and it's bought it's and open 24-7, so, and the hookah lounge is open until 3 in the morning, I think. Yeah. And Red Sea will let you bring in the pizza, and you yeah. can have food and drink in there, which a lot of hookah companies do not allow. They, yeah. Like, hookahs, they do not like it. They're like, no outside food. Some places serve food with it, and they'll let you eat in there, but you can't bring outside food. You can actually, if you're really lazy, you can be in Red Sea, call Gus's, and they'll deliver it to you. Yeah. They'll bring it in there to you. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they're really nice about that. Um, like I said... It's a good place to go to, other than the quick lights. I, I still taste better than, you know, smoking Starbucks at some random hookah lounge like Club Hookah. Uh, but, like I said, it's a pretty good place. That's the best lemon mint I've ever had. That was... one is the one down on rural and a little bit north of Apache Boulevard. Uh, in right next to Club Tattoo. Yes, uh, right next to it. It's like touching it. Uh, <clears throat> and then the next one is King Tut's. Another great uh, King Tut's is my favorite in Arizona by far, um, mainly because of the fact that they do serve food and uh, they. I know most people you know don't like it, but they serve like a lot of traditional foods like uh, chicken shawarma and. Uh, I like the pita and hummus. It's really good there. And during uh, what's it, Ramadan, they have uh, buffets open like every day after sun goes down, about six or seven, and good prices. Uh, they do serve. Uh, uh, they're the only place that I've seen that has Nakla. Um, that's a, a really good brand. Uh, we'll do reviews on that too later on. Um, what, what's your input on that? I like King Tut's. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, it's I really like the theme in there. Everything is Egyptian. All their hookahs are Egyptian. They even have these really cool like their uh, ashtrays are like these giant ass things. Like you could like hit it with a baseball bat and the coal would still land in there like it's huge like they're smart yes and yeah. you can smoke cigarettes inside for yes your cigarettes you can smoke. they'll let you smoke cigarettes inside the hookah lounge just ask and they'll give you an ashtray and yeah 
Uh, I mean, they do serve other food also, like, uh, I know Jeff doesn't really like uh, traditional food, but uh, they do have like burgers and wings and uh, french fries and stuff like that. So I mean, definitely go check that one out. That one is at uh, Rural and Apache. It's not Apache, isn't it? Yeah, it's on Apache, a little bit east of Rural. So if you go up Rural, if you're coming from the, the 202, you go up Rural, and then you go left on Apache, you'll see it on the right-hand side. Yeah, it's, uh, it's easy to pass, but it's a really good mile to check out. King Tut, you can see it. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one we're going to do is Hukumania, and this one is also on Rural, a lot of these are, <laughs> and it's uh, north of the 202, don't know exactly what the other street is. Um, really, really nice place, like overall this place is pretty, like, kept. Uh, they do serve a lot of food there, um, they do serve like traditional food, but they also have like pizza and stuff like that. Um, not sure what brands they have there, as of Shisha. But uh, it's reasonable shisha, decent price. Um, I still Google on uh, 7th Street and Bell, I believe. Eh, maybe a little past that. I don't know, I'm not sure. It's on Bell Road, on the street side of it. Uh, it's a bit smaller. Um, honestly, the service is pretty shit. Yeah. Uh, they're kind of dicks, unless you're a girl. Um, kind of a common thing. My girlfriend went there, she said they gave her service right away. Uh, we went there, waited probably like 15, 20 minutes uh, with a loaded hookah, no coals. Yeah, like, oh, they, we'll bring it to you. And they, they, they tease you with that because like on the, it's, it's like a club and uh, on the tables when you walk in, the hookahs are already out, but you have to like, and there's no bowl. You have to order the bowl and they bring the bowl out to you and then they put the coals on it. Same thing with him. I was with my friends and we were there for like half an hour before they brought it to us yeah. and it was not busy. Like I was pissed. Yeah. We yeah. almost left and I already paid. Right. Yeah. It, and I think they do have food there too. It's kind of like at a little food bar kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, the next one is going to be Cloud9. This is yours. Cloud9. Okay. Cloud9 is basically, it is it is owned by the same people that own uh, Club Hookah. It's, it says right on the sign Club Hookah too. But um, Cloud9 is probably the most club oriented hookah lounge. It's uh, they always have live DJs. There's a lot. There's a lot of people there. They do like phone parties. Like it's a really big one in Arizona. It's pretty. You've big. probably heard of it. Huge <laughs> events. Like it's, but it's it's pretty good. I the inside's really big. It's also attached to a bar. Um, if you go there on a quiet night, it's I think I like the quiet nights better because we kind of have more of a chill kind of smoke session. Not really into the big, you know, loud DJs playing and stuff like that. And the way the seats are set up. I always get this spot in the corner where it's like right next to the sub and it's super loud. You can't hear each other. You're like screaming back and forth trying to talk. But service is good. they pretty sure they have Starbuzz and you know, stuff like that. They don't have Fumari, sadly. Yeah. But <laughs> Cloud9, it's, it's all right. Like it's, service is good. Yeah. They're nice. <clears throat> this is House. Correct us if we're wrong. Um, we think this is the one on Peoria. I know I've been there with uh, a couple of people. And Omar's was huge. Um, I personally hate Omar's. Yeah, they were they ran were run by a bunch of like sixteen year olds that didn't know how to do anything. They didn't check your ID, that sort of thing. Not a fan of them. Uh, I haven't been to Hollis yet. No. No. <clears throat> and then the last three, it's kind of be gonna be more on me because uh, these are the ones I've been to. These are all in California. <clears throat> and one in Vegas. So, California, Fumari Lounge, best lounge I've ever been to in my life. See pictures. Uh, it's a beautiful place, uh, it's kind of busy, uh, they actually have you stand behind a velvet rope to get in line. Um, the people there are super nice, they come out, first thing they come out with is a little spice rack and it has all the flavors and they let you smell them, you know, kind of see what, you know, what they smell like, you know, give you kind of a hint of what they're going to be like. Uh, the service is quick, uh, they use their own Fumari coals which stay lit and they just keep piling them on top and they keep lighting, it's, it's incredible, like the service is amazing, they have good food, uh, they have drinks, uh, even the, uh, what, are, what are those called, uh, bouncers, the bouncers out there are really nice, we had a, com you know, my girlfriend went there, uh, had a conversation with one for like three hours, um, great Google bar, if you're ever in San Diego, go check it out, it's on like G and 5th. Um, Another one, Tangiers. Tangiers, uh, I'm not sure, I think it has a different name, but it is the Tangiers Lounge. I think it's called Odyssey. Tangiers Lounge, it's a little bit out of town, kind of. Uh, it looks retro 60s when you go inside. They do serve Tangiers, that's their big thing. Uh, I actually got to meet uh, Eric at Tangiers when I was there. He kind of showed me the back, you know, like I got to see all the hookahs that he personally had and, you know, the whole setup of all of the uh, shisha that they were making at the time. 
Really nice guy. He showed me how to do Tangiers, how to pack it properly. Great place. Um, check it out. It's a little bit kind of like, ooh, this place is kind of grungy-ish, but it's really cool and really chill. Um, like I said, go check that one out if you're ever in San Diego, Odyssey Lounge. And then the last one is Maharaja, which is actually in Las Vegas. And this one's right off of Fairmont Street. Uh, this one, it looks super traditional when you go inside. Even the outside is really nice looking. Uh, we met the manager while we were there. Uh, really nice guy. He let us try out one of their own personal hookahs. It's an interesting one. It's like, uh, uh, kind of hard to explain. It has like a stem and a host port separately that both go into the base. Really great place. They only have like basic Alfacher and uh, Fumar, or not Fumar, Alfacher and what's the other brand? Meditation? No, uh, Starbucks. Starbucks. Um, good place, nice people. Definitely go check out all these hookah lounges. Try them all out. Most of them, like we said, we gave you most of them are in Arizona just for our local viewers. But if there is a hookah lounge where you're from, wherever state you're in, Send us the information, send us the name, and we'll check it out. We'll look online and see stuff like that. And if we ever happen to travel down there, which because <clears throat> believe it or not, she's royal. She does do a lot of traveling. We and every time we go out of state together, we always look at our lounges. <laughs> First thing we look for, like when we look for hotels, we're like hookah lounge. Where's the closest one? Yeah. And we'll like one of the times we went on our senior trip to California, and it's the first thing we look for when we got there. I don't remember the name of the one we went into, but they carded you right away. Yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't 18 yet, and I was like, damn it. I was like, they carded him, and he was good, and I was like 17 and a half, and they didn't want to stay, and it was kind of lame. But <clears throat> other than that, check out all these two lounges. They're all pretty good. And like the video, rate the video, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 all that stuff. And this has been another review brought to you by Shishu Oti. Can you tell from the looking